The average American adult uses over 100 pounds of plastic per year. In our hometown of Lancaster, Ohio, we have a population of over 30,000 adults, with the average adult using 100 pounds of plastic per year. That's equal to 3 million pounds of plastic used just in our hometown in only one year's time. Of the 3 million pounds of waste plastic, only about 6.5% is ever recycled. That's roughly 195,000 pounds. This is very sad and quite frankly unacceptable. This is a tremendous issue in the United States, but there is also an even bigger one, and with plastic fuel, we can solve both of them. Plastics are made from oil. This much oil goes into making just one PET-1 plastic bottle. Oil is a carbon-rich raw material and plastics are large carbon-containing compounds. When these polymers are melted, the vapor releases petroleum in the form of gas. When it condenses, it turns back into liquid and is then able to be burnt similar to oil and gasoline. In the United States, the daily average for fuel consumption is 384 million gallons. That's in one day. We all have our busy lives, and our cars take us everywhere. So with our refinery process at PlastiFuel, we can convert waste plastic into precious fuel that we need so much of. To build the refinery, all you need is a pressure cooker with a sealable lid, three threaded sections of 3 quarter inch piping, two of them at 12 inches, and one at 18 inches. We drilled a one half inch hole in the lid and extended the hole to close to 3 quarter inches with a Dremel tool. The aluminum is easily carvable, so we twisted the threaded 12 inch piping into the lid and the aluminum became threaded so we could screw it in and out. We put Teflon tape on the threads to create an airtight seal. I then attached the pipes with 90 degree elbows. And then, we cut bottles into smaller sections simply so we could fit more plastic into the 6 quart pot. This step was not necessary, but it made things a lot easier. As the plastic melts in the pressure cooker, it releases petroleum vapors. And then, the jug of water acts as a cooling tank to condense the petroleum vapors as they exit the pipes. The petroleum floats, so it is easy to suck up. This is the yield of processing one pound of plastic, a little under one cup of fuel. And this is how it burns. With PlastiFuel, we offer a solution to extend our limited supply of fossil fuels by refining what would have been waste plastic. <laughs>